A reading of Mr. Babadook, written by Jennifer Kent. If it's in a word, or it's in a look, you can't get rid of the Babadook. If you really are a clever one, and you know what it is to see, then you can make friends with a special one, a friend of you and me. His name is Mr. Babadook, and this is his book. A rumbling sound, then three sharp knocks. Babadook. That's when you'll know that he's around. You'll see him if you look. ba 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 duck 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 This is what he wears on top. He's funny, don't you think? See him in your room at night, and you won't sleep a wink. Let me in! I'll soon take off my funny disguise, and once you see what's underneath, take heed of what you've read. You're going to wish you were dead. For those who think that's just for kids, this thing is not for me. I urge you not to say those words. Please take this seriously. Duck, duck, duck. There's just no way you're off the hook if you're all grown up when you read this book and you snub your nose with a civilized look. You'll appeal even more to the big Baba Duck. Let me in! And this is what he'll say. I'll wager with you. I'll make you a bet. The more you deny me, the stronger I get. <coughs> then you'll be my puppet, my plaything, my pet. you'll be sure to regret. You cannot get rid of me. Dare to look me in the face. Try to put me in my place. I will cause you so much strife. You are trespassing in my house! But you might just get out with your life. Duck! Whether adult or child, best to give me a home. Put the welcome mat out with a room of my own and accept that I'm here and from you I have grown. Keep me smaller in size. I might leave you alone. I 
I only said might. If it's in a word or it's in a look, you can't get rid of the Baba Duck. And please don't be tempted to tear up this book. Duh.